I wish I was getting to open all these boxes instead of having to ship them all. Oh wait, forgot one. That's about right. <laughs> Oi, she just can't do it, Captain. She can only handle so much. We are going to need a bigger wagon. Every week, this seems to get taller and taller. It's only about one or two boxes left from being as tall as me. And I'm almost, what am I, 5'8", five, 5'9"? Pretty tall. Anyway, guys, stay tuned. So the lady at the counter was like, Jesus, your business is booming. I'm like, yeah, caught on pretty quick. I'm only six months old and all that. And she's like, well, let me go get a wagon because I'm not going to carry all these boxes individually. So I'm like, okay. So just a little chime in here for everybody uh, getting lunch right now. But um, I ordered the replacement CO2 part that I needed, which was awesome. It's uh, coming from this company, MCS or M uh, MSC and uh, should be here tomorrow, actually. Uh, $10 shipping for overnight shipping, which was awesome. So I'll, uh, I'll chime back in later on. What's up? Leaving work. Onto the car, to the hardware store. I'm gonna see if I can just find a temporary fix for my CO2 so that way it doesn't have to go. Okay, so before I was so rudely interrupted twice by my phone, one, it got uh, frozen, so I had to unfreeze it because I ran out of memory, or whatever the case is. I need to upgrade to the 128 gig on the iPhone because right now I have the 32 gig because I wasn't sure if I was going to like it. So I got to upgrade, but that's besides the point. I am going, ooh, doggy. I am going to go to the hardware store now to see if I can find a replacement piece for my CO2 regulator. I know just before this, you saw that I ordered a new one, but I want to see if the hardware store has something that I could use temporarily to fix it. Um, so that way the CO2 system isn't that inconsistent. Um, if I could get it up and working today, then it only have been, you know, a couple hours of uh, no CO2 and uh, the plants and everything should be stable. But if it goes another day, it's probably going to be a slight algae issue in the beginning, but then it should even itself out along with the other algae that's already growing that I'm having an issue with. So uh, consistency is king. I'll always uh, tell you guys that, but um, it's the problem is, is nobody carries the parts uh, because what I do and what a lot of people do, there's never really any parts for us because it's so like individual specific pieces that we need and I wish I had like a 3d printer or something that I could print something although I guess that wouldn't work because it would need to be metal or brass but uh, if there was a fix or temp fix that I could do it would be great but I don't have it uh, rule or lesson learned always be prepared even when you don't think you need it get it and I should have ordered these pieces or well not that I knew that these were gonna break, but uh, I should have been prepared for this and had a uh, alternative solution. So I ordered extra so that way I have them in the future. And I'm gonna do so with a lot of the other CO2 pieces that I have, just in case they go bad or something's wrong with them. You never know with this type of equipment. And because it's so difficult and you have to ship them because you can't get them locally, 
it just pays to buy extra in the beginning and not have to worry about it when the emergency comes and you're like, oh crap, this broke on me and I need it and my system's going to go out of whack without it. So that's my little two and a half minute rant. Uh, we'll see you back when I get home and start working on the tanks or maybe in the hardware store. I don't know. Later. Hardware store. Let's see what they got. What's going on guys? It's about 5.30. The hardware store was no good on finding the piece that I needed. They said that's way too small. That's what she said. Anyway, uh, walking the doggy as you can see. I'm about to go back upstairs here in a minute and pack about, I think, 11 more orders and that'll do it for this week, hopefully. I'm so busy over where I live. I can't wait to be on a nice new quiet block. And he's taking forever to pee. Walter, pee. Pee, Walter. Pee. Pee. Don't look at me. Pee. Go pee. Don't worry about everybody else. He's too busy looking around. Anyway, so I'll check in in a little bit. Here is all the treasures. No, just kidding, these are all the orders. I gotta insulate them, put them at the heat pack if they need them. Although it's starting to warm up, so not a whole lot of orders need them. And uh, yeah, these are going out. I'm gonna show in a future video on how to insulate these properly using that stuff. You wanna know what that is? Not telling you. Pikachu backpack. Anyway, yeah, so that's where we're at right now. Yeah, Dustin. Is this a skank tank yet? Look at all this. Floating, nothing nothing rooted here. This one too. Skank tanks. Vlogs are such a great idea. You get to see all your progress. Yeah, like I definitely agree. Like I want to show the progression from you know at this point six month mark so it's still very young so like being able to document now and look back on it in a year and be like damn you went from a 10 10 foot by 10 foot room to a you know thousand foot square warehouse I, I don't know if this is public but do you make a legit living off of plants so i haven't disclosed the numbers of what i make but um theoretically Assuming that business keeps up the way it's been the last two months um, It's enough to supplement my real job income. So essentially if I wanted to I could legit say I'm not coming into work anymore quit and still maintain the same level of living that I maintain now So that's how I ship, in case you want to know how you ship plants in the cold weather with a heat pack. Later. Just got done packing a bunch of orders, filming, doing all that good stuff. It is now 1.30 a.m. and it's time for me to go to bed so I can wake up tomorrow and do it all over again.